All right, what's on the bench? Uh, looks like a multimeter, but it is a battery tester. So this was sent into the channel by Finercy. This is an HRM-10, and it is an internal resistance tester. So batteries have an internal resistance. Um, and that internal resistance is a measure of how much current it can supply. It's a measure of how healthy the cell is. And so there's different reasons to, to want to measure them. Uh, so I'm no battery expert and I've never had the need to test internal resistance of batteries, but now I can. Um, so the way that this operates, um, is I believe there is a, well, let's here, let's read the specs. I think they kind of give it away here. Uh, I don't know if you can, if you can see that, can I zoom in? Uh, well, I can't zoom down. Here we go. Uh, hopefully you can read this. All right, so uh, it says AC one kilohertz. So it uses AC to measure the internal resistance. So obviously there's a DC offset, the actual battery itself, but it uses that one kilohertz AC to measure the internal resistance. Now uh, it can handle a battery uh, plus or minus hundred volts and it measures resistances from zero to 200 ohms. Uh, it's half a percent accurate. Um, it's got a lithium battery built in, uh, USB-C charging, all that other stuff. So, um, so when you want to test really low resistances, you want to do a, a four wire measurement. Okay. Or what's called a Kelvin, Kelvin contact. Um, and so the test leads that come with it, uh, are Kelvin, uh, Kelvin clip leads. So one side is force and one side is sense. And um, the uh, connector is actually four wires, right? So let's put this together. So that's pretty nice. It's got a little threaded collar here. So now we have a uh, Kelvin connection for our measurements. All right. And let's see, does it have a flip? Yes, yeah, it has a flip up thing to make it easy for me. All right, so here is the display. Um, it has the voltage you're measuring and then the, the internal resistance. Okay. So let's get out a battery here. I'm going to get out a, a nine volt battery and we will clip the leads. Can you see this? I'm clipping the leads onto the nine volt battery and we are measuring 8.85 volts and 1.92 ohms of internal resistance for the battery. There you go. Uh, can you see that better? There we go. All right, so that was 1.9. Let's pull out a, another identical battery. Let's see how close they are. Uh, that's 3.4. So this one's 3.4. Let's measure this one again. This one is 1.9. So uh, this would seem to be a healthier battery or better quality or so, I don't know. I don't know if these have been in anything. A lot of times I'll just kind of use them for a second and then put them back uh, let's see here. Let me get one of these. Uh, these are actually out of, uh, out of a smoke detector, but these are lithium. Okay. So let's see if lithium measures any different, um, measures 3.4 ohms, my volt. So yeah, I don't know. Uh, like I said, I'm not a battery expert. Let's uh, measure a double a just for calibration here. Here's a double a let's do, uh, Measurement of that, we've got one and a half ohm volts and about a hundred milliohms. Okay, let's take out another one. That seemed a little bit low in voltage. I think usually they start out around 1.6 volts. Uh, let's test this one out. Yeah, 1.6 uh, volts and about, this one's jumping around. So. The internal resistance, it's kind of settling down at, at 170, 180 milliohms. So the internal resistance changes over time. It, it, it changes quite a bit initially, and then it stays flat for most of the life of the battery. And then at the very end, it changes quickly again. So um, when you use one of these, be aware that it's only a snapshot in time, that things will change over time. Let's look at a couple other batteries here. 
uh, I've got this funny battery here. This was out of a Ryobi device and uh, this battery pack failed, the charging circuit failed in it, but the cells were, were okay. So I saved it just for the cells. So we can, uh, and I, I made it, so yeah, this is kind of hard to explain here. So l let's measure the whole thing. There's 18 volt to battery pack, something like that. Yeah, so it's a, oops, can you get the glare up there? 18 volt battery pack and it's about 1.2 ohms. So that's pretty healthy. But just to make it more useful for the lab bench, there was a center tap that I chose. So I can get a 10 volt, I can get a 10 volt over here. So if I want to do like a, a battery powered analog circuit to, to minimize the noise, I can use a plus 10 minus 7 volt rail from my op amp. And that's that's why how this is set up here. So we're, get, we're getting minus 7.3 and 0 0.6, 0 0.6 milliamps that way, 0 0.6 ohms that way, 0.6 ohms that way. So yeah, there you go. Um, anyway, cool little device. I guess you can do auto ranging or manual ranging. Um, yeah, I, don't, I mean, I don't know why you would push any buttons on this thing. It really, it does sort of what it needs to do right from the get-go. I do like the display. It looks really nice. And um, yeah, uh, in general, I've been quite pleased with uh, the build quality of Fenersi. And uh, all right, let's give it a test here. Um, I've got it hooked up to a, a calibration standard. This is 0.01% accurate. So we will... Um, Let's see here. This this is the two leads clipped together, so they are zero. Uh, let's put it onto the machine here. And at 3.01, this is set to 30. Uh, here's two ohms. Here's one ohm. And uh, here is 0.1 ohms, so it should be at 100, 200. A little bit of an offset, probably due to the leads and stuff. But anyway, you get the idea. Let's see if we can go up in, let's see we measured, let's go to five ohms. Oh, very accurate. Let's go to 15 ohms. Very nice. Let's go to zero here. Uh, 10 ohms. And where are we? 20 ohms. No, 11 ohms. Uh, here we go. 20 ohms. 30 ohms. Yes, that's very accurate. 40 ohms. 50 ohms, and it's just, it's good up to 200, right? So let's, here's 150. So I say it passes with flying colors. Anyway, that was my review of the HRM-10 internal resistance tester. Yeah, it looks nice. If you need one of these things, uh, grab one of these.